My brothers and sisters, what is going on? Everybody still sermon in the house on this Monday afternoon with another video for you guys. As always, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. Links are posted in the box below. So in this video, yeah, that's right. Another uh, agreement with former Steeler player Ryan Clark. And if you remember from last year, Ryan Clark was uh, very critical and very vocal about the Pittsburgh Steelers down the final stretch of the season. And now he's jumping on the team earlier or at the, uh, yeah, earlier in the season this year. And you want to know what? This guy is 100% right again. Because he came on first take or whatever it is that he is on now. And he comes on and says, you know what? This team just gave up. They give up. They have no heart. They have no fight. They have no passion. They have no nothing. And I couldn't agree more. See, this is what I'm talking about when I say that Steeler fans and even to an extent former Steeler players are a million times better than the media because what the media does is that they butter coat everything and they sugar everything up to try and mask everything to make it seem like it's really all not that bad when in reality they know it is. I wish everyone was like Ryan Clark. He's a football guy. He's passionate. He loves the game. He knows the sport. He knows the franchise. And he tells it like it is. I wish everyone was like Ryan Clark. So basically, Ryan Clark comes on and starts off by saying he knew that this week was not going to be getting worse. Not be, He knew that this week was going to be getting worse for the Steelers, not because of the quarterback. He agrees that Kenny Pickett has doesn't really have anything to do with this. But it's because of one thing that the Pittsburgh Steelers don't have this year that this is a far cry from, from what the Steelers usually are. And that's fighting. Okay? This group of football players just does not fight. They don't compete. They give up. And it starts with Mike Tomlin. Also something that Ryan Clark said. It starts with Mike Tomlin. I look back at Steeler teams that I grew up watching, like the 4 team, the 2 team, the first team I ever saw take the field. Did the 2 Steelers win ugly? Of course they did. But when they lost, they very rarely got blown out. And they got eliminated in the playoffs, and they took Tennessee to the brink. Tennessee was a real good team that year, and they lost because, you know, they lost on a field goal, which should have been a flop by Joe Nedney. But they were fighting. The 05 team, sixth seed in the playoffs, wanted to go out for Jerome Bettis and won the Super Bowl in his hometown. I remember teams like the 07 team, the 08 team that won the Super Bowl. The 09 team even that was hung over from the Super Bowl. 2010, 2011. Couple down years in 2012 and 2013. 2014 we were real good. 2015 we were real good. 2016 we were great. 2017, the best regular season we've had since so far. We just couldn't finish. And then ever since... And shout out to the Steel Twins. And I know I'm getting off topic here. I'll get back to what I was saying in a little bit. But shout out to the Steel Twins. When Dan Rooney, may God rest his soul, passed away in the spring of 2017, it just kind of seems like the culture died with him. Because when I look at players on the sideline laughing, when you're getting when you're getting your doors blown off 38-3 to in the fourth quarter, and I see that they're laughing on the sidelines... Bill Cowher wouldn't deal with that. Chuck Noll wouldn't have that. And I'm surprised that Mike Tomlin allows that. You know, I knew that Mike Tomlin was was uh, really severely problemed, but I didn't think that he would allow that. And it's a reflection of him. But getting back to what Ryan Clark was saying, he is saying that Everything is wrong with this franchise right now. And he says that the only player that he would allow on his team right now that he would play for is Kenny Pickett. I don't know how anyone on this team 
And I agree with him, by the way. I don't know how anyone on this team or anyone in this fan base can sit back and blame Kenny Pickett for yesterday. It was his first start. You know? Yeah, he made a couple of rookie throws. But I saw a guy who was trying to engineer something with the offense. And Matt Canada's play calling isn't helping. Not at all. I saw a guy that was making decisions. He was processing in his head. He wasn't staring down receivers. He wasn't trying to force passes. He was just trying to engineer the offense. And he is the only one on this team that I can, along with George Pickens too, those are the only two yesterday that I can say that I did, that gave everything they had yesterday. You know, because Ryan Clark is like, this team is just a bunch of quitters. And I can't believe I'm saying this. I kind of wish the Pittsburgh Steelers were like the Detroit Lions right now. And I can't believe I'm saying that. Because are the Lions a good team? No. They don't have a good record, but they have a great offense. They will give you everything they have. They will put up a fight, and they just come up short. I mean, yeah, they had a real bad day yesterday against New England, but more often, but a good, I would say, four times out of five, Detroit will give you a fight. This team just gives up, and it's a it's been a culture problem for years now. And until Tomlin does a complete 180, or if the Roonies do a 180, someone has to take charge. And someone has to take the reins with this franchise. Because I'm seeing a team that takes the field every Sunday and thinks to themselves, what the hell am I doing on this field? Why am I on here knowing that we don't stand a chance? I know Buffalo is a real good team. I know they are. But you know what? What do you play the game for if you don't try to win the game? That's the whole point I'm trying to make of everything here. Ryan Clark is calling out his former team for their lack of effort, and I think the rest of the fan base is doing that right now. Kenny Pickett and George Pickens, I commend you yesterday because you gave everything you guys had. It's just a shame that the rest of the team is just too lackadaisical about it, and they're too worried about collecting a paycheck, and they're too worried about having fun than playing the game. Well, you know what, guys? You can have fun while playing the game. There's a word for that. It's called winning. That's what the Pittsburgh Steelers are all about. And I remember seeing Steeler greats. Do you think Big Ben would allow this? You think Big Ben would, you know, allow this? You think if Jerome Bettis was on here, you think he'd allow this crap? You think Heinz Ward would allow this? You think Paul Malu would look at this defense and go like, oh, well, well, we just suck today. Let's just not even try. No, Paul Malu would still try to make a play. Paul Malu would, was the captain of that damn defense, and he would get these guys straight. You think James Harrison would allow this? Do you even think Limus Swede would allow this? No one on this fran- no one who has played for this franchise from I would say 2003 until last year they would they would not allow any of this with this current franchise right now. It really is a shame. A, one of the most proud prolific franchises in all of the NFL and they have been relegated to a bunch of quitters. A bunch of uh, towel throwers. Not a bunch of towel twirlers with the terrible towel, but they take that terrible towel and they throw it because that's what they do. They just give up. And yesterday couldn't have been more obvious. You know, running the ball when you're down 30, when you're down uh, 21 points or 28 points. You know, oh, we're aggressive on offense. Just, let's just run the ball. You know, let's not even try to conserve any time. Oh, you know, Mike Tomlin's one of the most aggressive coaches in the league. Yeah, let's kick a field goal down 31-3. to Let's not keep the offense on the field. And Boswell missed two field goals yesterday. Like Ryan Clark said, and like I'm saying right now, this team is a bunch of gutless, soft, spineless quitters. 
That's all they are. You guys want to act like a lifeless team? I'm going to treat you like one. And that's really all I got to say. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me in the follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links are posted down below. Let me know what you think. Still sermon. Checking on out for the day. May God be with you all.